Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me. It is going to be a lovely Friday, find it and fix it I think. So this is what we're dealing with. Um, so, oh I haven't done my introductions. Did I say thank you for joining me, it's lovely to have you here. I hope you're well. <laughs> I just don't feel right if I haven't said all that. Um, and I mean it, I hope you're all well and thank you for being here. So yeah, I need to just get on with this because I'm looking at it. So... I think I said to you on previous videos that on Fridays I'm now going to try and do um, some projects that I started and not finished. And this is one of the tubs that I want to start with. Now, there might be things in here that just want, you know, there could be tags that just need a bit of embellishing and moving into the tag box. Don't I don't know what's in here. All I know is this started out as my, you know, finish it, finish it soon or to do, if you like, to do <laughs> box. And this is what it's become. So let's take some stuff out and see. I'm just wondering what that is because it's very shiny. It's Christmas. Okay, so I've got a box that Christmas goes in there. So that, that's it. That's got rid of that horrible shiny one. Now, if you feel you're a long way away, you are until I've, you know, taken a few bits out of this and then I will bring you um, down. I suppose I could just empty it. I could just empty it onto the desk, but then we'll be in a holy mess. So I'll start at the back with the big things and see what we've got um, to go from. So I remember starting this in the summer at um, the caravan. I've got three signatures. I've got a um, fabric only cover and I can see where I've um, measured to put the signatures in and haven't done any more than that. So I'm guessing that's just a matter of sewing the signatures in. I probably stopped and thought, do I want to put a spine in it or not and couldn't decide. <laughs> so let, let's just have a look what else we've got. Um, so yeah, that is a tag. That just needs making into a tag and a hole and something putting on the top. And I think there might be a lot of things like that. Ah, that's a piece of vellum that I said to you I found the other day that I had some vellum kicking about. Um, and I was looking for it. So that goes in that box up there. So I'll just put it on top of it. Um, yeah, that's an envelope just about ready to go in the stash. I've got the stash at the side of me here. So, OK, that wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, I think this was from the caravan at the summer as well. It was because I got that stash of um, fabric. So I was just having a play with them. So this one, I put some of that shiny paper on the inside. I wasn't too keen on. Um, yeah, so I, I need to perhaps gesso or something on there. Yeah, I think gesso will probably do it, but I don't want to do that here at my desk. I'll probably do that and then pop this back in here to be all it needs is embellishing it's just a nice grungy grungy journal yeah a bit of gesso and then some some ephemera in there so um i'll put that to that side so i know i need to do that and um, ready for next next time what have i got here i think that might have been when i was playing with the book pages no it's not because it's dictionary but i've made a kind of an envelope and tucked the uh, a window and tucked the edges under. Don't know how straight. It's not straight. Look. Don't know if I can fix that or not. I think I'll put that in the scrap box, and uh, yeah, we'll use it for for scrap. Got another. Okay, so a we'll cover with a topper on it this time. Oh, and we've got. Oops. So we've got two side pockets here as well, stitched in. And this is scrapbook paper and it's got some lace up the middle. I don't know if I started this with you or not. So a topper, I remember making that topper. You may well want Mod Podge in when just to secure the... And is this a signature to go in? I may be stopped because it wasn't summer because this looks like a very summery, yeah, flowers, roses. Oh, it's a very white piece. Why have we got such a white piece in? That's Laura Ashley, I recognise it. Yeah, I think I think I probably just stopped doing that because it was summer. Um, but summer is on its way. So again, the signature needs sewing in and it needs embellishing. And it smells big in here. I know I've got more journals kicking about somewhere. Oh, there's this one. So this is another one. It's just on string at the moment. Do you remember I um I made a journal with all the scrappy bits out of my scrap box and decorated it with you and then yeah I think the lovely Angie has it now if I remember rightly 
yeah so I made another one off off camera just full of lots of pages that needs work on so if I sit down one day and I just don't know what I want to do if my mojo's left me or whatever I'll I'll start on that so it is literally just a very eclectic scrappy scrappy journal yeah I think I was going to keep the other one then I decided decided to pass it on and uh, keep this one I think that's what I did so yep yeah, there's quite a few journals on finishing off and I see some more here I think what's this this is a signature without a cover at the moment yeah oh, this is more wintry this has got wintry things in it hmm. yep yeah. so what have I got there? Three journals, four with that one once it's got a cover. And I feel... I remember starting this, this wants something on the cover. Whether it just be some stitching round or some lace on there or some corners, it definitely wants something on the cover. I can see why I've left it because it's got that beautiful... Um... Oh, I pressed play, I have. Can I bring it down a little bit now? Now that's gone. I can probably see it better now. Hang on. Sorry, hope you don't feel sick. <laughs> yeah, and this was another one with pieces out of the scrap. And I've worked on it a little bit, this one. Yeah, but these things need, they need finishing and moving on, don't they? Because I know there are people out there who would love to have a little play with some of these. Eclectic little... Yeah, I remember making some of these bits and pieces. Tiny little, oh yeah, oh yeah, fold out, flip out, a little tuck spot there. Yeah, I might, I might finish some of these scrappy ones and, you know, pass them on as happy, happy mail. I'll put a call out when I've got one finished and say, anybody want it? Should you be stuck together? No, you shouldn't see the glue on there that needs something on it but yeah they'll be fun to to decorate won't they and embellish up yeah I remember sticking that on there on purpose sideways when I was doing a real grungy yeah grungy eclectic whatever you want to call it yeah just using all my scraps up I had great fun I recall now doing this yeah again just stuck a piece on a piece just to give it a bit of personality got a bag in it Lots of sticking together going on. I obviously put it away before it was dry. Hmm. I think that must have been from the end of the summer. Yeah, something on the spine there, a bit of something on the corners. Okay, are you thinking I wish you'd start with something? <laughs> Probably you are. Let's have a look. I know some of you don't like looking through all this, but well, I seem to have even a stash. Right, I'm thinking there might be a lot of tags, so maybe today would be a good time. Um, that doesn't want to be in, that's kind of kind of rubbish there, so let's move it to the side. You know, I kept that from my birthday, which was October. I'm going to do something with it, I haven't yet, so that needs to be. You can see why that's in the to-do. Yeah, so like, right, there's loads of them. So tags that need, you know, making into tags, holes in them, uh, journal spots. You know, writing spots, putting on them. Wow. Well, yeah. Tags. Tags. Oh, tags and tags. So they all want... See, these are finished pieces. What are these doing in here? I didn't even know they were in there. It's washed, so they're lovely. Um, I'll put them under my desk and straighten them up. Edith Holden pieces. What have we got in here? That's a tag that wants... So this just looks like embellishments to me. Yeah, they need to be in my embellishment bag, which is just under my desk. It's turning into a tidy with me, isn't it? So that's that lovely envelope that I made that's really thick, but it's l luscious. Oh yeah, it's cracked across the top. It needs some tape across it. So that that's a project that needs fixing up and then it can be... Oh, another piece of ephemera. Yeah, so we've definitely got tags, hundreds and hundreds of tags that want embellishing. And ooh, 
three journals. Oh, my pockets, they're just uh, from. Hmm. I definitely want something on it. It's just. What are you? Oh, well, you're a pocket. Or maybe you were supposed to be in there, but you needed finishing off. It's making into a tag. Oh, you're too small, so that can't be right. So we'll put that over there. I wondered where half of my ephemera was. Now I know. So that's an envelope. That's a pocket. And yes, I remember doing these beautiful pieces. Pocket fillers. And that's a pocket filler. Pocket. Tags that won't do in. Right. Um... I want something doing to it. That is just a pocket. That is a journal card that wants finishing. So is that. So is that. And so is that. Okay, so I've got all those. They're out of my embellishments. Uh, ephemera. All these that want something doing to them. That's just a pocket that's done. Oh, and now I've got some pretty pictures here. Painting by Ford Maddox Brown, lost in England. It's a nice picture though. That's from the William Morris book. Ah, journal covers with no signatures. So, so we've got signatures with no covers, covers with no signatures. I'm nearly through it. Hang on. What are these? These are all bits of. Oh, they've been backed though. So these are all tags waiting to be finished. Yes. Yes. I wonder if I did these with you and then didn't get any further. There's an awful lot of them. I could have done them on my own. Yeah, all tags. That's a piece of uh, Tim Holtz, isn't it? So is that, have I put them up as tags? Quite possibly, I'll put them to on those. No, they are all tags, let's keep them in the tag pile. Well, that's just a nice pocket filler on its own so that's Edith it has been for some reason it has been inked round and it's got that beautiful picture on the back so I'm not going to do anything with it that can just go in the ephemera as a pocket filler uh-huh yeah I vaguely remember making that little notebook so where's the envelope so we'll put some little piles up of things for sale when they're fixed Ah, no. I was looking for these scrappy pads earlier when I posted. Right, so this book, this box clearly started out life as a scrappy pad box and then morphed into. So these are all my tear scrappy pads. Loved making these. Do you remember making them with me? I had great fun. Don't I always? <laughs> it's not very often I don't have fun. Okay, this is turning into a chat with me and sort it out Friday. Right, the scrappy pads there. These are all tags, tags and journal cards, pictures that want finishing. So it's not, this box isn't as bad as I thought and some pictures which actually want to go in a, a, a folder. Right, so what shall we, shall we start with a journal today? Um, there was another one somewhere there. What did I say it wanted? Oh, I wanted to gesso it, didn't I? I wondered about starting with this one, seeing as it was, you know, all done and an easy one really to start with. So it's either that or the tags, em embellish the tags. Should do a little bit of both. Or, I mean, I need pockets for this, don't won't I? I mean, I'm going to gesso there and put some big pockets there, but we could still go through the rest of it. Okay, so it's very grungy. I'm just trying to think what I'd like to... Um, lots of room for German and there's lots of room. Some nice strong card in it, that's beautiful uh, Tim Holtz. It will take some nice pockets, actually. Oh, that's... a. Uh, that needs big tags in there, look. Will you open? Yeah. Again, it's a little bit shiny. I might have to gesso that or something. Love the paper on the back. Okay, so um, I 
do need to get lots of pockets ready for this though. Let's do the tags then. Hey, feeling cheated. Those of you that said tags will be cheering. <laughs> Those of you that said fill the journal will be turning off. Okay, so. Um, they're all done and dusted. You just need a hole in your a label, I think. Your journal card. That's a bit more Tim Holtz, did I? I oh, know I did keep them all. Let's do the Tim Holtz in another pile. Right, you haven't got anything either side. So you are, they're inked for some reason, but they're plain. So they all need, you know, something on them a lot. That needs trimming down and then something on it. Yeah, so do they. Right, perhaps trimming down is not a good thing to do with you because it's just choppering. So trimming can go over there for now. These all need you a trim job. You are. Yep, you are trimming. Oh, some of them I might be able to do with the scissors, I don't know, but let's put the trimming ones over there. Yeah, trimmed. These need cutting out so they're going to one side. No, done. I've only got three in my pile. Mind, I won't get that many done, will I? I love that one. Okay, I'll just pull a few out. Um, do we have some plain ones somewhere? I don't know. Okay. Little. You're nice. Ooh. Some very summery ones going on. Not sure about that one yet either. Are these double sided yet? They're quite thick and very summery, so let's just pull a few. Okay, I think. <laughs> Keep thinking that's enough, that's enough. Right, that's definitely enough for, for now. Okay, so what do we want on these tags? So square, square. That definitely wants covering with something. I'll put that one over there. Those two ladies are done. Okay, I won't get more than that done, I'm pretty sure. Right, let's do three at a time and then we should get, hopefully we'll get ten done, we'll see. Oh! four here. Let's do two at a time. Right, they're, they are backed but they're not very thick but that's fine. Sometimes you don't want thick ones, do you? Let's get that. Excuse me, I'm just reaching for my ink and my dubber and what is, else is it that I would like on these? Let's have some. Ooh. Yeah, this new chair does squeak. I'll have to get me to have a look at it. See if it needs oiling or it's not together properly. So I'm just getting out my crafting bag, which I'm sure you've all seen, but won't won't now fit <laughs> under the camera because I just put those in it. Look, I might as well get them out again, haven't I? Um, I've got flowers in here somewhere. Those. Sorry. <laughs> um, what else did I hide? I some more flowers that I found. Stickers, yep, yeah, get the stickers out, get the flowers out, wherever they are. There. What else have we got? Sorry, I'll have to let that go a minute. Mushrooms. Don't know if it's the weather for mushrooms, but I'm I'm thinking more summer now. Obviously I've got my um what I've got, my labels, my words, my birds. Um, paper dolls and butterflies are already out in my drawers. So now we've done all that. Crikey, how many? 19 minutes in and we haven't done anything yet. Right, these are kind of grungy, so they might go nice actually in that grungy journal that we're going to fill. So I may not want flowers in that. I've got these. Oh, I've got my um, clusters as well near, haven't I? What have we got going in here? These are obviously, no, I don't think they go. No. Hmm, that's nice, isn't it? That's a 
No, so not those. I quite like this shirt. What's going on? All oh, these postcards. These postcards, right. Um, yeah, so Tim Holtz. Where's all the Tim Holtz bits? That's very possibly something that I want on there. Did I have them all out? Um, let me just find them. Okay. I was looking for Tim Holtz, but I found something better. I found all my Midnight Meadows um, fussy cuts that I haven't used yet. So, yeah, and obviously this on the desk, which I always have. So these will be just the just the ticket, as they say. Some gorgeous, yeah, how much of it shall I get out? Some gorgeous things in here. Let's get quite a few of them out. So play with them. Okay, I still like this shirt though, and I like it on there. I just want something behind it. Um, oh, on top of everything else, I'm going to have to cut out now, but I really like this. <laughs> Sweet homemade family soap, it says. So what have I been up to today? Been very busy today. Been, gosh, we weren't going to go to the shops today, but we went shopping again. <laughs> we got some, um, well, we both got some new clothes. Neil got a new jogging suit, lounge suit, whatever you want to call it. You guys will know when you're dressed up for for work or in your work clothes all the time. It's nice just to have some some proper lounge wear for when you're at home. So, and they did actually get it in the sale. There's not much in the sales anymore, but yeah. So we got some, you know, joggers and a hoodie to match. Can't remember what make they are now. One of the sports makes, and I I got a a sweatshirt, a hoodie a pink one. I'm sure you'll see the sleeves a bit soon because I wanted one just to sit. Sit in here at the craft table and same same as him really, just lounging around. Okay, do you go together on there or not? Maybe that way then. Okay, I love the numbers, love the birds. This one's got numbers on it, hasn't it? So. Oh, you see, I'm back, back in my fun place. We've got one of those gentlemen like the kit I'm using now, like that butterfly. Is he more that colour? Yeah, he's more that colour. Oh, love that bird. So, a stamp. Yep. Yeah. Oh, like the clock as well. Yeah, clock's nice on there. Stamp that side, do we think? Or is there something more oblongy? What have we got fastened in here? All sorts. Butterflies, no. This is nice though, this X, isn't it? You go that side. Yep, yeah, quite like that. Um, I think this one might need a label. So I've got a nice light ish coloured label in here. Ticket, no. Hmm. Oh, that's a better shape. I prefer that shape. Oh, yeah. That's definitely a better shape. The butterfly at the bottom. Yep, yeah, let's get some glue and do it. Um, yeah, so if I, can, if I can get some grungy tags made, then... Um, oops. It shouldn't be too long to make some pockets. Now, I've got all the... Um, well, not all, but I've still got a few pockets from the Facebook challenge, Tessa Treasure and Friends Facebook challenge, um, you know the book page ones that want stuff on so we could put something on to match these and then we'll have pockets and tags. You can overlap that can't I? Um, to go in that, that grungy journal that wants moving on. Maybe I'll do a a draw for somebody to own it because it will just be nice for it to have a, a home and have been finished and moved on. Do we think you're at an angle? Just touching that, I think. Um, now, what do I want on the, the hole at the top? Do I want a metal? I'm wondering about one of those thicker metal ones, although it is only a thin. Thin tag. 
Um, oh, they're all sort of white and grey. How are they going to go? I don't know if a white one will. Oh, it will. Sort of an off-white. Just that it's quite a big hole, isn't it? So it will cover it. Let's try it and see. Where's the... Uh, yeah, that's why my glue's starting to glue up, isn't it? I'm off from one job to the other. I should have done both these together. I just want to see what this wide one looks like. See if I can get that central-ish. Yeah, didn't want to cut, but it's, like I say, it's not very thick card. What do we think? Let's try this one and see. See what we think. If it's too, it might be, you know, too heavy for the... I'm not on where I should be. What's happened? No. Oh, I don't know, am I? <laughs> I'm asking you. Is that right? I think that is right. I think it was right. I think I was just having a... I'm not sure that I like how that's opened at the back. Maybe should have put something on it, but I don't dislike the colour of it, actually. Did I do this once? No. Try not to knock the table. We don't seem stuck down there either for some reason. What's I mean with the glue? Yeah, I might put something around that. I'm not very... might take it out and put another one in. We'll see. Oh, no, we are... Oh, no, just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit that's not... I think it's because it's on top of that card piece. It looks stuck up where it's not. Yeah, what was I saying to you? So we've been shopping. I've been seeing mum. been seeing my sister. <laughs> Briefly. Um, yeah. It's just been one of those days where it's constantly... We came home and had a lovely sausage sandwich. Thinking we'd done and I was going to come up here and Neil was going to have his last, last afternoon off before back to work in front of the TV but uh, yeah we just kept doing we just kept going on with things and did a bit of housework together this morning bless him he's a good one so we're uh, yeah what was going on there that that clock we've achieved a lot but not much rest, <laughs> which is what we were supposed to be doing. We were supposed to be working all morning, resting all afternoon. Yeah, we kind of just carried on all day. I mean, I can rest tomorrow, but now bless him's got three days, three 12 hour shifts in at work. I wanted that that side, was you telling me? Does it matter which way up that goes? I think it goes that way. No, I think these are from no, I might be wrong because I cut both kits out. So, Nanine collage type and Tanya at Touch Treasure did a, a collab on the midnight on the yeah midnight meadows it was called, and I did cut both kits out. So, I'm not sure whose bits I'm using here. So, I don't think I'm going to put that through there. I think I'm going to use some of those um, die cut. Look, I've got some here. I know, I, I know I need to cut some more out and I am about to get the die. Oh no, that's not them. That's them. The die cut machine out any time now, so these big ones. Um but I want sort of brown grungy and I don't think I've got any. No, no. So that's there. What I'll put on that and some string through. We can just have ordinary string. So yeah, that's two. We should be getting a lot done, really, shouldn't we? So this is a one of my dictionary page ones, and I think that's fine on the back for um, journaling on. So I want something on the front, and he's quite lovely, isn't he? Look, what should we have behind him? Put those out. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Right, sorry bird. It's not your day at the minute. If you have a number, have it higher up in a number. I think that's all that needs. And obviously the holes. 
Shall I put a met just a small metal one in this? What do we think? Just make sure there isn't something else I'd rather have under that than that number. I think I might like it on top of something. No, I don't. So I had to try. No, I like the number. Perhaps the number over it, yeah. Oops. Okay, that was an easy one, wasn't it? This is why I kept these separate and put them all away in one pouch. Because I knew once I got them out to play, there's so many, so many pieces in there. That they'd all make a nice, you know, a joint, a project together, a stash of, of like, like decorated things. Ooh, get off me. So I, I managed yesterday, after I'd uh, filmed and spoke to you, managed yesterday to get into the greenhouse and square one side of it up. I wanted that up there, didn't I? with um, you know where my papers and where I die and all, all that kind of thing and it's actually stayed remarkably dry do I want a butterfly on there somewhere they're a bit big no no because I think by the time it's got a shall I put one in let's put one in uh... hmm <laughs> yeah it, it, it... I was expecting things that I had left out there. I didn't leave much out there, but there are things, you know, blue books and stuff like that out there. And they are remarkably dry, not, um, not damp at all. So I was really pleased. Now, what about a couple of these glued on? Might be nice. Let's have it all out. Let's have a real play day. Ooh. You're pretty. We definitely want you on the front. I don't want to ink it because it's got a nice white background anyway. So that's, um, I think, yeah, that's one from Tanya. A nice hexac hexagonal, hex, hex, what's the word? He <laughs> hexagonal, hexagonal, yeah, got there. Uh, shaped one. I, I maybe ought to look for a punch. Never thought about that before because I do like my reinforcers. I've got uh, one punch, but they're, they're much bigger holes than this. I think I need a smaller one. And then uh, obviously the, the die cut, you know, the metal dies like that. Um, there was another one, wasn't there, under here? Yes. Okay, are you going to have it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you suit a bird, don't you? Definitely. Okay, so a bird, some sort of a label or something. It would be better if I had them organised, wouldn't it? But that wouldn't be me. Stamps we've got. Oops. That's nice. A banknote. There's a great big one of those X's now. Yeah, I'm not feeling it though. That's quite a nice piece of text. Are you flying? It's a flying bird there. Um, see, he only just fits. He does kind of need to go on to something. Anything any bigger? Is that more more of a contrast? It's nice sort of gothic print that one it is actually I like the, I like the colour of that one but we're very very bare up here of course I didn't get anything out no worries what else have we got I'm looking for kind of a, a plain label I think they have to be different to the one that's at the bottom hmm, that's quite nice that's obviously something I've die cut out of the papers. Well, there's even some pockets here we might use. Well, there's some nice tiny postcards, look, that I've 
Oh, and there we go, tickets. Anything you could possibly want. He's nice, but it's very small, isn't it? I'm wondering about turning it up and making it a pocket rather than a... <laughs> what do we think? Just ink round here. A pocket rather than a tag. That bird might fit nicer on it or it might then be too big, but let's, let's do it. So if that's going to be folded up and I want that on there. Is that the one I want? I think it is. I'll stick this on first. I'm not going to do it. this as a pocket. I'm just going to do it as the actual embellishment. So you go in that way. So you want it to be that way. <laughs> Don't want it on upside down. I feel like I might have you a little bit close now. I don't know. Okay, that's it. So about there. Yeah, you're in my way, that's it. Let's lap it closed. Now I could put a little um, divot, a little thumb hole there, but I don't think I'm going to on this one. Now, I see you are going to be too big now, aren't you? I thought you was, but never mind. We have other things. If I can just get to them. Oh, the thing is I've got my mind on a bird now. Maybe I'll get my little birds out butterflies and these lovely stamps bees for butterfly look I think that's enough on its own it's got a pretty yeah I like the white edge as well I suppose we could have a tiny butterfly on the postcard if we wanted more if we want it straight yeah let's have it straight Well, it can be a tag or it can be either or, can't it? I need to tuck something in it so that I know what it is as it goes into. That's too big. Let's put another postcard in it. It's one of a different colour there. Let's just put that in for now so we know what we've done and move on um, to some more of these tags. Okay, let's pull the grungier ones out. Like that one's trimming down, but that one's something on it. That one, okay. Yeah, this one's definitely too big. Let's, let's make it more manageable. Are they driving you mad? <laughs> I like to see it all out, but I know some people will be like, ah. And others not, so it's not quite bright. Should we go? Let's go there. Bright lilac-y. I'm not going to keep that. It's going to be good. Oh. oh, well, you're not stuck on very well, are you? Just to there. Blooming glue stick. That's what it is. You know what they say about a bad workman? <laughs> Blames his tools. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fan of glue stick for trusting it be fair that's better as that end stuck yeah so which end are we going to so this is going to be the side that we can't reach my stencil <laughs> this will be the side that we what's the word journal on um, I might stick a label at the top of it we'll see so this side is going to be the tag and I do want it a Tag shape, that's quite a chunky piece you've got out there, Denise. That's it. It's transformed already, isn't it? No, you didn't do anything to it. Oops. Okay, so maybe my birdie will go on this. Let's see. What other things? I didn't look at all the other things I brought out with me, did I? here um, no nothing there grabbing me so let's have a look 
Oh, I love that big X. Not on there. What do we think to him with something behind him? They're the labels that I was looking for. Do I want him or do I want a bright coloured bird? Can I just have a slurp of my tea? Excuse me. There we go. Um, I think it will just speed the video along if I just use what's here because I've spent so long just sharing things with you and uh, yeah, hunting for things and deciding what I'm doing. I know it's grungy anyway on the outside, but it was just it wasn't torn enough and it was a bit on the big side. Okay, that's looking more the size I was after. Does it stand out enough from the background? That's all. Um, not sure. Not sure it does. Let's move some bits across. Oh, don't want to fall. Ah, that's what I was looking for. That's a nice piece, isn't it? Those the ones that I said I wasn't going to use. Piece of that. Right, let's tear it the other way. That's better. Just a contrast. Still the beiges and the browns and the grunges. It's just I've got so many, so many going on there. I don't like that pointy bit of that, so I'm going to get rid of it. That's better. And I don't like that bit in there. So, oh, tough paper. Let's cut it out. Whoops, come on. I'm all thumbs. Keep hold of your toes, curl them around that bar or I'll have them. Oh. Are they toes? Do birds have toes? Are claws made up of toes? I think they probably are. Okay, so let's just, on the back of here, dab it. There's any white bits I've left. Yep, yeah, I think with a nice... Um, Oh, that was my desk sweepings box. Oh my. <laughs> oh my, oh my. No. Too big. More browns. Have I got too many browns going on, do you think? Do you think we need a coloured label in there? I think we do. Oh, there's some of these nice green ones here, look. Remember these that were in the wrong spot the other day? Um, green bo botanical labels are what they're called on my computer, <laughs> where I've got the digital saved. Often when you um, download digitals from Etsy, then the name doesn't download with them. They're either numbers or... And if, when I download it and keep it, I don't think about, you know, naming it, what it, its name actually is then it's gone. I lose it and it's gone. Let me look through the... Oh, that looks quite nice through the um, screen of the... Do I want his head on it like that? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, so I don't know if they are actually called green botanical labels in Etsy. Even if they are, I don't know who's the, who they are. <laughs> or if I've just called them that. Because some of them are botanical. I don't know. That was a long... Ooh. That was a long story, wasn't it? I hope it stayed with me. <laughs> Just to say I don't know who I bought them from. But I use them a lot. I've uh, printed them off quite a few times. And I don't think they were very expensive. Right, I'm going to go right down there with that and then decide about the bird. You need a bit of inking under your chin, mate. There you go. Okay. Oh, I've 
had a lovely cake today. Now, I know I told you I've been gluten free. I am persevering with it and I am noticing a difference now, definitely. Well, gluten low, I'm calling myself because occasionally I, you know, I eat something that's not, I'm not going to be 100% gluten free. I can't do it because they have these particular cakes at Aldi that I love <laughs> and they are um, they're a bit like a banoffee pie but with fresh cream and no banana <laughs> so it's like the um, the caramel and the fresh cream on the top and the uh, you know the pastry base and yeah it's not gluten free so whether I'll pay for that I don't know but I enjoyed it <laughs> and the thing is if you do this if, when you go gluten free and things like that you appreciate them so much more. You know, you appreciate things so much more. I had a piece of toast the other day at, oh, while we were out and didn't ask for gluten-free and it just tasted so nice. So, yeah, I am going to continue. Do I want that through there or not? I'm, not. I'm going to continue, you know, buying and eating when I'm feeding myself at home gluten-free, but I'm not like, it's got to be or else. I don't know. Let me know if you've done that and it's a problem. We've got a nice Edith Holden one there, but it's a big one. I like it though. So it's going on. Uh, these will look different again, won't they, when I get the ribbon out? But I don't get the ribbon box out and start going through that because <laughs> that will be the end of it. The arrow will come and go. Oh, we could have like a purpley one on the back. No. This was a huge bag when I started. I think I'll have another at Edith. So I've really gone through them. I really must start. Oh, I like that side as well. I must start and amass a few, a few more. I don't know which way is the right way up. <laughs> Who knows? As long as the, the line goes in the right direction. Yeah, I think that'll look different with something through the loop as well. Okay, how am I doing for time? I think, no, I stopped it, didn't have to look for those things. So I don't know exactly how long I've been. Let's see if I can get at least two more done. I'm determined to use these. Oh, I used him, didn't I, that bird? But this one, yeah, he's flying. Hmm, that's quite nice. Move that out because that is an actual finished piece. I seem to be uh, collecting scissors. Move some of those over. That's it. Postcard, postcard. Love that bank statement. There's a smaller one there. Let's pull a few things. That gets lost on there. It does on there a bit as well. I'd love to put him on, but because I'm using him in the current kit, I don't want to. That's nice on there. Well, you know, he's different, but I'm using the the pictures, the men's pictures. That's quite nice. Yep, this lighter one, I don't know, it wants, wants something dark on it, I suppose. Butterflies? No. Can't decide about that one yet. Let's have a look at this. Let's ink the edge of this. Now, shall we do this as a square one? I like that and I like that. What about a little a little label maybe? Oh, there's these lovely stamps, look. And tickets. Oh, yeah, Midnight Meadows. Um, no, I don't think I do. So it's either a label or nothing. I like that number 83 down there. What do we think to that? gonna do it I'm going to do it how many have I done so far then I might just get one more done after this yep so this will be like a I guess a tall journal card as opposed to a journal tag if I'm not cutting the corners or putting string through oh I know what I could have on that other piece one of those Tim Holtz paper dolls was that too low it's down now. <laughs> don't know. I love that number 83. Don't know if it's something about the black writing against these black dots. Yeah, whose paper's that? 
um, hmm, wrong side. <laughs> no, I can't remember. I know I bought it's a it's a paper pack with lots of different blacks in it. It's lovely, but I can't for the life of me remember who I got it from. Feel free to tell me if you know. <laughs> yeah, I like that now. Um, I'm wondering about some black soot. Bear with me to edge that with. I think that would be nice. Oops. It'd go nice in the gentleman kit that I'm doing now, that wouldn't it actually? Oh yeah, I love that black soot on there. I like that. Oh, it's got a nice um, straw paper back as well. So we could put a little bit of something on the back of here. Ooh, I'm not sure I like the black on the straw. Hmm, not as much. Um, which was one of these that I really liked, wasn't there? And then I said it didn't go. Mm, that's nice. I need something a little more. Yeah, let's have it at the bottom. Not too fussy. Just something for your eye. It is quite a blank piece of paper, that, isn't it? Telegraphy. Telegraphy? I want anything up there or no? There's a dark one of those somewhere. There's a black one, but I thought there was a darker brown. No. Another birdie. Found another birdie. No, we'll leave it at that for now. Yeah, I might put another number up there, but we'll see when we use it. Um, this one. Yeah, I was wondering about a, a paper doll. Because it will take quite a biggish, a biggish one. I like the, I like the ladies, and Tanya likes the men. She's got a nice wide skirt. She won't go on just anything. She'll go nice on there, maybe. Oops. Yeah, let's have her. Okay, so what we're going to have behind her. Um, I wonder if it just wants some pretty paper, really. Well, yeah. You can use the word pretty. It doesn't have to be bright, does it? It's got some nice text. Hmm. Yeah, you can't really write on that side, can you? So that's the side that needs needs to have something on it. Spell that vellum. Now I found it. No, it's making it too, too pinky. What I have got in here is some pattern paper or some tea bag paper. Yes, you know, that's like sewing pattern paper. I quite like that. Just looks like a, a, a stain, doesn't it? Kind of. Now, what does she look like on it, though? Yeah, I feel she might need to be tag shaped at the top. Let's do that. Put all misses away. Oh, that clock just keeps ticking away. Stop it. I'm having fun. Oh, can't, can't hold all three. It's quite a piece of card, that. Right, I'll go with brown for now and then decide if, if we're going to go around with black or not, depending on what goes on it, because this will be too big now, won't it? Not a lot, but a little bit. Oh. Yeah, it just looks like a stain, so let me get some paper to glue on. Oops, it's at the bottom of the drawer. Shouldn't be, but it is. That piece will do. Ouch, that's my finger. Because what I'm going to do is try and put my um, glue stick over it, because I only want it on this pattern paper. I don't want it on all the tag. And if you're not too rough, this pattern paper will take a glue stick. Oh, most of it will. Sometimes they're very old, fragile 
uh, vintagey ones, not so much, but. Yeah, normally I like it wrinkled. I don't want it too wrinkled this time. Oh, excuse me, that's my cup of tea. Speaking back to you, I do apologise if you heard it. Mm. Yes, I like it, but it wants more. She definitely needs a bit of an outline. I'd like a hat on. She's holding a hat, look. I'd like it on your head. So, do we want um, her sitting on something or a label above her? I don't think it will take both. Watercolour hall of flowers. That's nice. No, I like that there. Maybe just a word or something up there. Okay. I'm going to put, I suppose I could attach a tab, a tab as opposed to punch a hole through, you know, like some lace or ribbon or fabric or whatever yeah, on the top. Yeah, I think that might be, that might be the way to go. Maybe some of that nice black lace. Oh, I, I just spotted that her arm hasn't been pushed through. Let's get rid of that. That's it, out you go. Oh, she looks even better now with a bit of... That's it. She looks less like a picture now. And then do we want a word or a label at the top? That's the question. Label's quite nice off centre, isn't it? Yep, yeah. I'll go over there. I'm going to black that one because it's got black edge. And then at a later date, if it drives me mad off centre, I can put something else over it. As long as I go right off like that. Yeah, I think with, with a black tuft of lace up there, that's going to be pretty. I'll go in brown. Okay, let's have a look how many we've got done because I feel sure I've run out of time. But we had to go through the box, so I won't have to do that next Friday. Will I? I'll be able to just pull a project out and go with it. So let's move on with bits over here because you never know, I might get some more done tomorrow. <laughs> Not today. Oh, I didn't use any of my flowers. Never mind. It is a bit of a grungy, grungy journal that we're going to fill, isn't it? Okay, so... Yeah, I really like that one. So that's like a, that might need a word or something at the top. That's like a big journal card. Yep, that needs something on the back to bring it down a little bit, but it's not a big job. I'm running out of room, can you see? That one that's been stitched round, that'll be lovely when it's got some something through there. Mm, yep. And this one is now a tag, uh, a pocket, not a tag. <laughs> That one with the clock and the X, I love that. Oh, I haven't... Oh, yeah, I'm going to put one of those on, but I want some paper behind it first. And then this beautiful lady. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six tags and a, and a pocket. Not too bad, um, because, we, like I say, we did the sorting out. So, yeah, if you, I hope you've enjoyed watching me play with my um, unfinished projects and looking at what, what I'm going to be working on on a Friday. I really need to take the time out and get, get all this stuff moved on, so... Um, like I say, um, I will literally be moving some of it on as in offering it, offering it up and uh, sending it out to people. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're enjoying uh, watching me do this, because, you know, if most of you hate it, I can do it off camera, but it's time. <laughs> and then I pull things out and you're like, when did you make that? When did you make that? OK, stop chatting. I will uh, see you all tomorrow, hopefully. And it is, what day is it? Tomorrow It's Saturday tomorrow for you. So it will be scraps on Saturday. Okie dokie. See you then. Hope you have a lovely evening. Bye for now.